I'm quite upset. Uh, something took my uh, pomegranate off the tree and ate it. And I have one that's eaten from the top, which is quite upset. Hi everyone, I wanted to show you that I made, I saw some birds um, in the garden. They were landing on the trellis and on some of the tops of the plants. There were five little um, birds, not full grown yet, and they were hopping around. And, it, and then I saw two hummingbirds flying around the other day as well. They came out what seemed like from the plants. One flew off and the other one kind of stared at me for a few seconds and then flew off as well. And I just thought, how beautiful. And they must be searching for water. And I have been eyeballing a bird bath for a while, but I didn't want to pay the prices that they were stating. Um, it said like $17 for the top part and then $17 for the pedal, pedestal. So I did not want to invest in, in those prices. Um, and I just wanted to reduce and reuse and I found a saucer that hasn't been used um, a clay saucer and the pot had been broken and I had some of these river rocks beach rocks lying around so I decided to make a bird bath so I cleaned it out put some water in set the rocks in just in case if they can um, cannot land. I mean, usually they land on the edges, but maybe um, hummingbirds or other, I mean, bees and things can land on the rocks and kind of like get a sip of water in this heat. And I just put it on top of a bucket that I had here. I had been using the empty bucket to place my sprinkler head on top of and that way it could reach over the tops, the water could reach over the tops of the plants. And um, sometimes I water by hand, but that was an easy way to get the, the water to not just hit across and straight at the plants, but over top. So um, anyway, so this is uh, my new use for the bucket. Um, hope you give it a try to, uh, Give some water to the wildlife that um, the summer is going to be really hot and I've seen that there's an uptick of, of birds as of late. Hello there. I wanted to share with you that um, I was walking around and I noticed just this abundance from my passion fruit this year. It's thriving. So I'm going to, I noticed some fruits starting so there's two three and let me spot some there's a fourth one up there but oh there it is <laughs> There's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, I'm not sure if that was sixteen or a despair, seventeen, eighteen, let me go around and here's a beautiful Delia. Uh, what was that? 
was I on? 18? 19? 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, there's 25 back there, 26 on the ground, 27, 28, you can see it. 20, 36 over there much much more so like three dozen I'd say so I'm quite happy about that and if they touch the ground it's fine it has a outer tough shell and um, when it's sprinkled in purple then you just cut it and then insides where you've got that juicy um, gelatinous uh, fruit and you can put that in your desserts, your drinks, all kinds of stuff. So I am just going to let it be and there is my friendly little hummingbird up there just flying around. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm just going to move out of this area because I'm not sure if I am, uh, sorry if I'm making you dizzy. I'm not sure if I'm She's trying to hunt for something and I'm getting in the way, so let me just get out. So guys, remember when I didn't know what this plant was? And it has these striations that go like that, um, that come the same way. It's amaranth, and um, what happens is the seed disperses everywhere. So it can grow anywhere that you've dropped the seeds. And I wasn't aware I had dropped some amaranth seeds all about here in the yard. So now that I recognize what it is, I went to the, the mother plant and I found out that I looked at the leaves and, and identified that it is. So it is growing really, really well over here in this area. And so remember I told you there was a mystery squash that volunteered from last year and in this area indeed I did grow um, patty pan squash and zucchini and various things and I knew it was too viney and it roamed too far to be a zucchini because zucchini doesn't grow too too far and as you can see it stretches from there all the way to in there so that's a good eight feet nine feet so I've looked and it is I believe a spaghetti squash so that's what the mystery squash is now I have another squash over here that I don't know what it is let's go to it And here are some pretty cosmos that are blooming again. They weren't blooming for long, I'm not sure why. Here are the lemons that I bring to my coworkers and to my family. So today I'm gonna to give it to my sister. And here is some lovely moringa that is coming back. It had died back to just a stick and I wasn't sure what that was. I didn't pull it out. I gave it a chance and it came back. And I am loving it. Um, I'm pretty sure it's protected and it didn't die because I added some leaves as mulch into the pots. And it protected the roots. So here are some basil. And let's go over here. So. This squash, I'm not sure what it is, but it's coming back since last year too. It volunteered and it is a big one. And 
it was just a little nub, a little patch right here, and now it's grown to be about three feet wide and two, two to three feet tall, and I'm not what I'm not sure what squash it is, um, but it, it definitely is a squash. It is not. Um, it definitely is a squash. I was hoping it'd be zucchini, but it's not. So we'll see what it is. Probably pumpkin, because this is where the pumpkin was. Mm. Oh my gosh. I love basil, and it is just thriving. And since it, I have so many, I think I'm going to bring that to my sister as well. So, like I said, I didn't know if this was amaranth or auric, and this is the spot where I was talking about um, the plants when I said I didn't know what this was. And so here is another one that is so tall now, it's dwarfing all my little plants below. So that's another moringa. Ooh, I have a new shoot on my shinseki pear. Um, Let's see, I have some green onions down there that are being dwarfed by this amaranth. And back there I have some, my Asiatic lily that's getting no sun because of the, um, because of this plant here. And this is a telltale sign that it is an amaranth. The seed head is this long stocky thing that is full of seeds. and. Um, the key to having it not spread is to cut that part off before it goes to seed, um, but it's not a problem to me. It's food. I can make an entire salad with just this one plant here, and it's not hard to remove. Um, you just grab the stalk and just pull it out of the ground. Um, oh wow! It's so mature, it made like a, um, almost like a tree trunk down there in the stalk. That's crazy, I've never seen that before. Um, that's about it, folks.